Okay, we're gonna do a live video on what I'm calling floating booty, which is a play on words for sure, but we're gonna work on the bum. And this is really important, particularly for me recently with traveling, sitting, computer, <sighs> driving, <laughs> we need to give our booties a break. So we're gonna focus on our glutes, our back body, because we can't really work on the booty with working on the lower back and hamstrings and legs as well. So we're gonna work all those parts of the body together. And what we're gonna do is start out in our traditional sumo. So we're gonna wrap our arms around the swing, standing in the center of the mat. Let's go ahead and press it down nice and low and get into a low squat. So when we're in our squats, one of the simplest ways to start to activate the lower body is to immediately come into some pulses, right? So we're working the quads, we're squeezing our glutes, pressing our hips forward just slightly and letting ourselves pulse. You can also incorporate some hands with the leg loops if you wanna press down and pulse with both the arms and the legs. And just keep pulsing until it burns, <laughs> until your booty has had enough. And we're just gonna hang out here and take it for 10 more if you can. Just take breaks in sumo and come on back if you, if you need to. But my feet are nice and wide. My toes are pointing up for this version, more like nine and three than 10 and two. And I'm pulsing, squeezing my bum on the way up. And just let that feel good. Let that feel good to activate some of those muscles, getting the legs. A lot of people ask me, how do you work the legs in the swing? And then I just, Tell them, you know, do all of your grounding poses, all of your standing poses in a normal yoga class, just do it in the swing. And notice our spine is straight up and down. So it helps to keep really good alignment. Then we're gonna heel toe the feet together. Let's take a pause here. We should have a little bit more heat and activity in the breath. Take a pause in supported back bend, chillax in arms, weeping willow, whenever you wanna reset. Okay, for this next one, we're going to do a tabletop. So I'm going to stay in chillaxin arms, and I'm going to bend my knees and then press. Let's do hip distance with the feet. Just press. Drop the hips and press them up. Press. So I'm staying in my supported back bend, and I'm pressing my hips strongly towards the sky, pressing my feet into the ground. I'm calling it a tabletop, but you can see it obviously has some modifications. So just do this for as long as it feels good, squeezing on the way up, and then drop and squeeze. My tailbone is shooting down towards my knees while I do this. And I'm really dropping the hips a lot. So flaring out the ribs for a moment and then squeezing through the core. So squeeze, squeeze. I'm pulling everything in towards center at the same time. And if you do like 50 of these, you'll really start to feel it. It's pretty amazing. So just go for as long as it feels good for today. You can even pulse at the top. Just hold and pulse, kind of doing a little crunch with the abdomen as you tuck the ribs in and pull the navel up at the same time. So they can do big movements or small movements there. <sighs> and then press the legs straight. I'll just let you guys know I was making all this up this morning and I got so inspired I wanted to share with you. <laughs> so it's fresh, hot off the presses. And I'm going to be doing these live streams, specialty classes twice a week with new material. So tune into those. They're going to be live stream classes that you can sign up for and I'll have set times for you coming up. It's going to be part of my Hawaii program. And then we're going to do one private training that is live streamed a month from now on. And it's really whenever I get inspired, I'm gonna share new material, but I'm also gonna have these scheduled classes. Let's come on up to stand, okay? So that was sumo into pulses, which you could do here as well, but in the swing, it keeps your spine nice and straight. And then it was a version of tabletop. So what I wanna do now is have the swing in front of me. And for this first one, I'm gonna be, pointing my head towards the sky. Try not to head dive in any of these poses. I'm gonna hold on to the swing nice and strong and I'm gonna kick back. I'm gonna do these little pulses where I kick back, kick, kick. Make sure you're nice and balanced. So I'm starting with the left leg extended. Just pulse, pulse. Stay upright so it doesn't strain your lower back. If you drop too much, it goes into the lower back. 
But what I'm doing is I'm squeezing the top of the hamstring into the glute as I pulse, pulse, pulse. I'm up on my toes if you want to have a little bit more engagement and balance or just flat foot with the right leg. So you have to really <laughs> work it <laughs> in this pose. And then we're going to swing it forward and back forward and back. Now I have to come up onto my toes a little bit in order to get my leg through. So forward and back, forward and back. You can see why I wanted to shoot this from the side <laughs> so you can see what was going on here. Okay, and then just do that until the leg gets tired. <laughs> Usually 30 seconds to a minute, at least 10 if you can. And then pulse, 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 pulse. So make sure all the toes are pointing forward. You don't want the back leg the toes going out to the side, you want them putting straight back, okay? So that way you have a nice internal spiral through the leg and press, press, press the top of the hamstring into the bottom of the glute to really engage that sleepy part of the body. And it should be challenging up onto the toes on the left side and then swing the leg through. So swinging the leg forward and back. Use your balance. It is challenging. I'm up on my toes to swing the leg through and really kick back, kick back, kick back. Yeah. So there's that engagement still. Woo. <laughs> so it looks like these are getting progressively harder, but these are still the kind of easy ones. So stick with me. So now what I would like to do is come up into the handholds. Okay. I'm going to do a double leg press and it looks like this. So I'm going to kick up to get the arch of my foot in the swing. It's really important that it's the arch of the foot all bunched up. And then I'm gonna stand beneath my plumb line, catch your breath, get both feet in there, right? And so with the double leg lifts, I'm going to press my hips up towards the sky and engage my shoulder. So I'm squeezing the bottom tips of the shoulder blades together. And I'm gonna drop the hips and lift. Drop the hips and lift. Use your breath. Exhale, inhale, drop. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, and exhale. For 10 more, really squeeze the bum here. Squeeze, squeeze the whole back body all the way up to the shoulder blades. That should be nice and strong on the back. So we're gonna work the hamstrings, glutes, and lower back together. Squeeze, 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 and then just bend your knees, come to sit. Woo! <laughs> so fun, right? <sighs> so just take a pause here. Sometimes it's nice to use the swing to kind of massage out the back body, all the way up to the glutes, down the back of the legs. I just drop the hips and then lift the hips. This is more to get that sacred pause than it is to Strengthen the glute muscles. I'm more just massaging out the back of the legs all the way to that inception point where the top of the hamstring inserts into the pelvis. I tend to get like a little bit of a strain there. So it's good to work that out. Okay, so now I wanna come into a forward fold and we're gonna stretch the back body at the same time. So let's stand in the middle of the mat, bring the swing in front of you. You can do these in any order, but I thought this would be nice to take a little break in between and then add some more in. So in our forward folds, we lead with the heart, right? Pressing the hips to the front of the mat, then bend at the hip flexor, come all the way down. Feet are hip distance. Make sure you're right in the center of the mat and then clasp the elbows, lift the sit bones towards the sky. You're up on the balls of the feet here because you're pressing the hips forward strongly the entire time and gently rock from side to side. We're gonna stretch it out into a down dog. Just let this feel good to begin. And we can always go through our cat's meow. If you're used to practicing with me, we do a lot of undulating of the spine. So what we're gonna do is come through the cat's meow, the arch position, and we're gonna stay arched the whole time, and we're gonna lift the leg. So I'm looking forward, I'm pulling forward with my fingertips and I'm pulsing here. I just stay lifted through the right leg. Lift as high as you can. Lift, lift, lift. And I'm concentrating on that same place where my hamstring inserts 
into the sit bone, getting that lower glute. So we're calling it floating booty. We get our booties to float again when they sunk down. <laughs> so keep pulsing. Good, now let's do a few rounds of pulling the knee towards the chest and then inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, lift. Knee to nose, squeeze and lift. Really pulse at the top and lift. Squeeze in and lift. Really good. All right, drop that foot down. Happy, happy dog. Wag the tail. Shake it out, reset. Really stretch out here. A nice long V in the body. And then we come to second side. Inhale, arch and pull forward like we do in Cat's Meow. And then what we're gonna do is pulse at the top. Pulse, pulse. It doesn't matter if you have the foot flexed or pointed. I'm doing pointed, but just pick your favorite one. And pulse, 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 pulse. <sighs> Keep going with the breath. Remember to stay in tune with that life force energy pulsing through us. That's the breath. Inhaling and filling us up. Exhaling, squeezing the old energy out. Pulse, 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 pulse. And when you're ready, knee to nose, squeeze the belly. Inhale, lift at the top. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Round in and lift. Pull forward the whole time. So we get that nice long line of energy in the spine. Squeeze and lift. And lift and lift, lift, beautiful. Okay, floating plank, we're not done yet. <laughs> this is gonna be a strong practice. So first thing we're gonna do is swim, I call it swimming. My hands are underneath my shoulders, I'm pulling forward the whole time, and I'm stacking the bones, okay? It means shoulder distance, both in width and then in height. So first I swim, I'm gonna swim it out, and then I'm gonna paddle. So paddle, it's like small little kicks. I'm just calling it paddling for fun. And then pulse, both legs pulse, 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 pulse. So let's swim. Just do the best you can. Paddle, straight legs, paddle, paddle, paddle. Keep looking forward. Don't lose the alignment of the spine. And then pulse, 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 pulse. pulse. Pulse, okay, one more time, swim, swim it out, really strong lower back, pull the navel up, engage through the core the whole time, paddle, paddle as fast as you can, <laughs> feet up and down, like you're kicking, and then pulse, 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 okay, land it, <laughs> feet back in the center of the mat, shake it out, forward fold, hooking the elbows, pull the biceps up to the ears and sway from side to side, stretch out the legs, stretch out the bum, stretch out the back. <sighs> now we're really gonna anchor down through our feet now, come back to center. We're gonna come up through angel wings. So we press our hips forward and then roll right back down. Press and lift and then roll down. When you press and lift, squeeze your butt forward. Squeeze really strong and lift and roll back down and lift. Squeeze the back body and lift. Get really strong through the long muscles of the spine and lift. All right, come on up. Woo, okay, we're halfway there. <laughs> So let's come, since this is floating booty, <laughs> let's come through our floating Buddha and try a few more engagements through the back body, through the glutes, legs, hamstrings. So I come through my sumo and I'm gonna put my leg loops on, but I'm gonna put them on the arches of the foot. Now when I use the arches of the foot instead of the ankles, there's more engagement through the back of the legs. Okay, so when I'm here, I simply just want to come through Namaste. We're just going to go right into it. If you need a little break, you can come through Chillax and Arms and Windshield Wipers, but just notice how strongly you have to press down and engage through the feet. 
in order to keep the leg loops on. You don't want them bopping off. So it's okay to take frequent breaks. I'm kind of doing the expedited version. <laughs> you can slow this down as much as you want. And then repeat if you really like something. So make sure those are bunched up. And you have a nice strong grip with your feet. Press your hips up, hands to prayer, hugging the swing. And we're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So my upper body stays perfectly still and I'm isolating the lower half. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Lift and lower. Lift, squeeze when you lift and lower. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Your butt will never be the same in such a good way. <laughs> squeeze, okay, come into one ladle. <sighs> if we wanted to add a little bit more core here, we could squeeze in for rowing and then lower down, squeeze just to do a counter pose. Squeeze, really push into your feet to engage the hamstrings. So this would be more core than glutes, but we have to do the balancing poses and counter all of this back body work. Okay, very good. We're gonna come on up. What we're gonna do is from here, slide into chillaxin. Woo, take a pause. Just a couple more poses left. Ooh, from chillax and pose, we're gonna come into our bow. This is one of the more challenging versions. You know, you're gonna find your favorites and you're gonna find the ones that you don't really care for, which is totally fine. <laughs> it's a variety pack. But from here, we're gonna come right into it, okay? So we're gonna reach up, hold on to the swing, lift the hips and lean back, wiggle the swing into a really good spot, okay? Now I'm gonna reach my arms wide and around and grab for my ankles. And I'm gonna do the same thing here where I drop the hips and then I squeeze on the exhale. Inhale, drop, exhale, squeeze. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Slow it down if you wanna go slower or make it a little bit faster if you wanna turn it into a pulse. So just make sure your lower back is happy because this is a really strong squeeze. I'm pressing and kicking out with my feet, keeping my knees hip distance. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh my God. Come on up when you're ready, reach up, grab for the swing, and then exhale, drop your hips. Whew, my goodness. That's the end of that one. Let's just come into some stretches, some relaxation. Let's come into our seated pigeon pose, get our right foot on top of the left. And first, we're just gonna push the hips down and feel that nice stretch, that counter stretch. And if it feels good, hug the leg loops in to deepen. I like to stay here and roll my ankles around and you can also stack the knees and grab for the foot if you wanna go a little bit deeper. Just find your favorite pose here. I like all of them. <laughs> why I show them to you but really they get into different parts of the glutes which is so key stretch it out after all of that now our final stretch is going to be the extended leg we can do a twist here if that feels good or I want you to come back into chillaxing hand arms and I'm going to have you pulse again so drop the hips get the stretch and then pulse press the hips up I want you to squeeze into that space where the leg inserts into the pelvis so really getting the glutes activated. I'm squeezing towards the center line too. That means in towards the center of my body at the same time as pushing my hips up. So this would be kind of like the, the cool down lap where it's not quite as intense as the other ones, but it also has an amazing effect. So I'm just pulsing in the space here and getting this amazing stretch through the IT band as well. Let's try second side. <laughs> Come on in, left foot on top of the right. Push the hips down, push the sit bones down in particular and get a nice steep stretch. So now I'm working the different quadrants. I'm gonna hug the leg loops towards me to get an even deeper stretch into the glutes and see how that changes things. I like to wiggle a lot. So what happens when you bring the right foot over to center and then push it out to the side? kind of wagging the tail, I call it. That right foot can explore in the space. 
And then the last one here is crossing the knees. I'm gonna have my right hand grab for the left foot and pull it in strongly. Just wherever you can reach, pull in towards the center line and you'll get a deeper activation in the glutes. Full leg extension with a twist, just to stretch it out. And then if the other variation we're doing for the floating booty today, okay, so I'm gonna clasp my hands behind the back of my head. I'm gonna push my hips down and then press them up strongly. So I'm isolating just the hips, just the pelvis, okay? My upper body's gonna stay exactly as is. I'm gonna squeeze, exhale lower, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, relax, inhale, and exhale. You can also squeeze the air out on the exhale and inhale, drop. If you prefer to reverse the breath, find your favorite. I find that the body gets into a natural flow, but make sure the breath is marrying the movement. So we're squeezing the air out and then filling ourselves up as we relax and just getting as much activation through these really high sleepy muscles of the legs, as well as the really low part and the sleepy part, the droopy part of the bum. <laughs> so now we get our booties to float again. All right, we're gonna come on out, swagger for a few breaths. That's the end of our new booty sequence. What I'd like for you to do for today is come into cocoon with the legs extended up and be burrito. So we're gonna drain any stagnant energy out of the legs to end. So I'm gonna bicep curl up to stand, holding onto the leg loops, and then I'm gonna get into the swing from there. Okay, stretch it out, make sure you have enough material behind the back of your head, as well as all the way to the knees. And then we're gonna remove the leg loops and let the feet extend towards the sky. Legs are in a V inside our cocoon, Arms extend overhead, drop in, five minutes, final relaxation. So this is also just a nice stretch through the hamstrings and back of the legs after all of that workout, all of that strengthening. Maybe push one hip down and then the other hip down to release any last bits of tension hanging out in the pelvis. And once you have scanned the body and feel ready to fully let go, release the breath, close your eyes, quiet the mind, keep the heart open and receive. Really take your time here, drop in for five more minutes, just let the video play out and look for more of the live streams that are coming your way. I'm gonna offer a couple more of these special specialty classes every week through this platform. I look forward to sharing more. You can find out about my program at aerialyogarx.com. Thank you so much. This is Jen Healy. Bye for now.